to do with myself 24 minutes past eight um it's time to check in with the inspirations that are batman and robin regular listeners to the show will know that shortly after a very boozy christmas i decided getting fit was the order of the day and embarked on a mission to train for the reading half marathon i don't mind telling you i have hit a crashing low awful Last week, terrible. I, honestly, I don't mind telling you, I struggled to do four miles last week. Last weekend, I went out on Sunday, two miles in, I thought I was going to collapse. So I don't know what's gone wrong. If you are in a similar vein, uh, then we need to catch up with Batman and Robin, who this weekend, ladies and gents, are running. Let me, uh, let me ask them. Robin is on the line. Is Batman driving the Batmobile again, Robin? Uh, no, he's just getting changed, actually, at is the moment. He's we're, we're here. He's putting his tights and pants on, and um, heaven forbid that we should interrupt that exercise. Um, Quite right. You are running how far, Robin? Uh, we're doing 100 miles today. So just be absolutely clear, that is 100 miles. That's correct. You... And we're running from uh, Richmond uh, in London all the way to Oxford following the Thames Path. Um, look, uh, I was talking to Batman earlier this week. I, I, I caught him flying literally down my lane. Um, and, and he mentioned that they might, you might be doing three miles ahead of the 100 miles just as a bit of a warm-up. Uh, we are. There's the uh, local Richmond Park run, which we're going to make uh, a brief appearance on before the race. Just a bit of a warm-up. Look, Robin, I know you're superheroes. I know you're an extraordinary talent. But really, is 100 miles not enough? Do you need the extra three? Well, I think if it's there, you've got to do it, really. OK, now, how many other barking mad people are lining up alongside you to do this 100 miles, do you know? Uh, there are 200 other uh, Centurion runners today. Um, and how, how are the legs? I mean, are the, the tights are extra powerful compression tights for you guys, I know, that you run in. And there's always the superhero pants to give you a bit of go-faster action. But are you feeling OK? Are you nervous? Uh, no, no, we're quite excited, looking forward to it and uh, ready to go. Superheroes don't get nervous. How long is it going to take you? Uh, we think between 22 and 24 hours. OK. Uh, solid? Uh, absolutely, yes, non-stop. Right. Um, when are you going to eat? Uh, we will be eating what we can on the way. We have organised a pizza stop at Reading Saturday night or this evening. Tonight. OK, so what, on the move, so the delivery man will be waiting on the Thames Path. You will grab yes. pizza and continue running? Something like that, absolutely, yes. <laughs> I just wish I could be there for that. Anybody who wants to sponsor you guys can. You can follow them on Twitter, hashtag run, superhero run. You're doing it for Cruz. It is a great cause. Um, I'm going to speak to you tomorrow, if I can, Batman and Robin, just to check you're still with us. That sounds great. So you're going to finish about this time tomorrow, you reckon? Uh, yes, yeah, before between 8 and 10 tomorrow morning. OK, well, look, fingers crossed. I'll be thinking of you. Look after Batman. You know what he's like. Don't let his testosterone get in the way. Go flying <laughs> off. 100, Thanks, Nikki. 100 miles is a long, long way. That is our two Pauls um, uh, from Berkshire, West Berkshire, who are running 100 miles, better known, and rightly so, as Batman and Robin. They, they're doing Silverstone a couple of weeks' time, then they're going to be running the Reading Half. I'm hoping with me. But that rather depends on if Batman whips me into shape in the months we've got before the Reading Half on the 1st of April. You're listening to BBC Radio Berkshire. Today this could be the greatest...